when I'm plumbing my boat with the water cooling lines, um, I like to put a Y coupling in there, split the line. I have a single um, rudder water pickup. So I like to split them. So I have <clears throat> fresh, cool water going to each component, the motor and the ESC. The problem with that is water will take the path of the least resistance. And it's usually your motor that has more resistance flowing through the water jacket than the ESC. So you'll get more water to the ESC. You could run a single line through the motor to the ESC and out, and then it wouldn't matter. The water would only flow as fast as the most resisting component, which would be the motor. But I don't care for that because you have the warm exhaust water going to the ESC. So I like this idea of a coupling, splitting it, and then the problem is getting equal flow. So I've came up with a way to adjust that that I'd like to share with you. I'll show you what I got set up here and demonstrate how this will work. So I've pulled the line off of my single water pickup rudder and I have it plugged into this water bottle. So I'll demonstrate by turning this bottle upside down and squeezing some water through here and we'll watch the flow of the two outlet nipples. The front one is the ESC. So very obvious there is more water flowing through the ESC. So the way that I'll adjust the flow is I'll put a zip tie around the line that is going off the Y coupling up to the ESC. And I'll restrict that flow with the zip tie. The way that I'll initially adjust it will be to blow through the line and hold my thumb on one or the other and compare. And you can very accurately feel the difference of pressure when you blow on one versus the other. Here is the motor. So I can feel that it takes less pressure to blow through the ESC, just blowing through the line. So let's put the zip tie on here and start adjusting it. Then we'll do the final check with the water flow. So here's the line going up to the ESC. And here is the zip tie that I've put on it. You can see I have it squeezed down a bit. That's actually probably squeezed down to the same inside diameter as these um, nipples on an order jacket. That'd be my guess where the restriction is. But I've blown through there twice now and tightened it. And I've compared how much I feel blowing out these um, nipples where it exhausts the water. So let's do a water test now and see how close I got it by blowing through there. I have the water bottle hooked back up. So we'll turn this upside down, give her a squeeze, see how the flow compares now. Pretty much identical flow through both water outlets with a simple adjustment to the inside diameter of the water line going to the ESC. I would say that's a 
fairly accurate test. I'm squeezing water in here. If this water pick up, I would say it's doing the same thing. It's creating water pressure, single line going in, splitting off. I cannot think of a much more accurate way to check it after testing it by blowing through it. I think you can get it fairly accurate blowing through it, but to me that water flow test, that's the ultimate test. So is that a little bit anal? A little bit extreme? Maybe. But that's a fairly expensive motor, an ESC. So thank you to someone who commented on my channel. Um, I checked my other boats that way. I didn't have to make an adjustment like I just did, but just an idea I had. Simple enough way to calibrate that, if you will. So now I don't have to worry about my electronics. I know I got equal water flowing out both outlets. So let's get this thing out there, go fast and turn right.